Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survive Russia. This is going to be the first real video on the construction of our 12 cornered house here. It's going to be a very very interesting project, actually. <laughs> but uh, why are we building a house with 12 corners? I had some uh, funky comments about that, but uh, the, the, the main reason is that my uh, wife's father, he's an architect, and uh, he sort of like uh, made up this project here without us even asking him about it. And uh, my father-in-law, he likes round houses. Many of you guys ask what is the, the concrete domes over there, which are not actually domes, but uh, they look like domes. But that's of course something that he have come up with because uh, yeah, he likes roundish houses. So uh, he made this project here and I uh, regrettably, you can kind of say, agreed on uh, on his project there. It's gonna be awesome when it's done, but uh, house with 12 corners, eight is uh, problematic enough. 12 is not gonna make it much easier, <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome. What we are doing at the moment here is that we are, or oh, I am, I'm making this sill. I think that is uh, what you guys told me it's called in English. In Danish we will call it uh, a sockle. <laughs> column kind of but it's not gonna be higher than this as you can see here I've been uh, fiddling a little bit with this just to figure out the the process because I never built a, a 12 cornered house before but uh, I certainly made uh, seals and uh, concrete uh, foundations and uh, woodwork and so on so uh, yeah I just want to get on with the woodwork right <laughs> that's gonna be it's gonna be kind of awesome but you can see we have all these blocks here I'm uh, mounting them holes down and we are have them in a staggered bond here but on top we're just gonna have them like this tuck, 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 tuck. why are we gonna have it like that we're gonna have a board here and on top we're gonna have a 6x6 six six beam 150 millimeters times 150 millimeters and then we're gonna make all the way around on top of that beam we're gonna have the the timber frame so we're gonna do it like this it's gonna it's gonna be pretty stable we have the rods here as you can see these are this is not the rebar it's is a threaded rods and we're gonna clamp down the beams and the board onto these rods of course that is normally how you do it so on the foundation itself here we are of course using uh, it's most likely difficult to see but uh, we are using a bonding compound and uh, it seems to be holding up pretty well. It's a German bonding compound, as we used to say in the Danish army. If it's not German, it doesn't work. <laughs> and there's, a, there's quite some truth to that. So we're using a German uh, concrete binder or starter or binding compound or whatever we want to call it. So I of course have to transport a lot of these blocks over here because we're going to have this double layer all the way around. We're gonna have a layer there, that's where our oven is gonna stand. It's not gonna be that big, but it's almost. And we're gonna have some blocks on the center here, of course, because we want the beams going from the outer ring to the inner ring here. I'm gonna fill you in on the, on the whole construction at some point, but we're not there yet, right? But the little Survivor Russia vehicle here is uh, temporarily uh, out, of, uh, out of order. <laughs> it's not out of order, it's not working at the moment. We're gonna have the, re the starter rebuilt. It broke. I can drive it without the starter, but I really do not want to do that. So uh, we're using another little funky vehicle for transporting all these blocks over here. Let's take a look at that. So here we have all our blocks. We have uh, more than we need, which is a good thing. <laughs> Down here we have a little uh, thing, I think you guys in the States call them a rototiller or something like this. We use this for the kitchen garden, but this can also, as you can see, be used with a small uh, trailer. And uh, the trailer can carry 500 kilos. This guy cannot transport 500 kilos, but I can drive at least 12 of these guys at a time. But the construction videos here, they're gonna stretch over three, four day period or something. So it kind of makes sense we're not making a video every day of uh, every little step we do, right, or take. That's a famous song, I think, actually. But anyway, let's load up some blocks. Let's race on the rototiller <laughs> over to the foundation. And why are we driving 
12 at the time, that's simply because each layer here has 12 blocks. So that's what we're doing. And by the way, this guy here is the Pink Ninja's favorite uh, vehicle because she can drive it herself. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Are you ready, guys? So hang on, because this is a beast! Sunday. Good morning guys, it's 5.30 and uh, we're heading to the foundation. Over there we have a little load of blocks. The SRV is not uh, functioning yet. Well, let's head over to the foundation. But uh, 5.30, that's a good time to get up. Or oh, 5.30 to start. Of course I didn't get up at 5.30 of course. We need to paint the foundation, some of the sections here, with some uh, concrete starter or concrete binder. Oh well, yes, what we made yesterday. We are still in the in the learning process, so to speak, of the whole process. It's just me and Mrs. Survivor Russia, because uh, there cannot really be a lot of guys making this. So here we have our concrete starter, Gruntovka. Zero seat, and uh, we're just gonna add some to this little guy here, and then we're gonna start painting. And we're gonna do that now because uh, it's like two hours. It has to work for two hours, and then we can, uh, and then we can start. So I'll apply some of this stuff here. We of course have box, and that is not super awesome. And what we have the most of. At the moment, around here anyway, during the daytime anyway, is uh, black flies. Mosquitoes, they mostly come out at night, but uh, I would prefer mosquitoes over black flies any day. Black flies, they are really bad. I think you guys also call them gnats. So yeah, it's a good thing around here to get up early. It's always good to get up early, but uh, there's less bugs in the morning. But uh, our savior during the day, our salvation is the wind. Because uh, these small black flies there, the gnats, they don't like hard wind. But uh, now we also have the big deer flies and other flies and uh, other vampires and what not? Six o'clock, half six o'clock in the morning. This was uh, still wet, but it's not wet any longer. So what I've been doing now, maybe Mrs. Survivor Russia have some footage. I am pre-cutting some of these blocks here in halves because we need uh, some half blocks so we can get it in a you know, staggered bond, I think it's called in English. I'm cutting some corners because we need some corners there, we need some corners there and there and there. Mrs. Huay Russia is watering the blocks there. So these guys here, I'm of course cutting with the angle grinder. I have this guy here, which is called a protractor, I think, in English. But it has kind of the correct angle of our corners. So we can now take our blocks here and just uh, and just 
carefully break them off like this and we can of course use both ends that is pretty awesome we have a green ninja which uh, does not think it's awesome that the blue ninja have locked him out of the ninja mobile <laughs> the ninja vehicle which is immobilized at the moment but anyway that's what we're doing and now we're going to start to uh, to make another section of this hopefully which is called a silk plate so here's basically what we're doing mrs Savari russia and me i'm laying the blocks and uh, she's cleaning out and uh, filling in the spaces and that's a good work process because like this we are actually getting somewhere and uh, that is rather important because uh, i want to get this stuff here done because this is not my most beloved kind of work and uh, yeah, I'm not super great at it there's sort of like a, a reason you can say that the bricklaying is a trade <laughs> and uh, it's not my trade but uh, I can make it work I consider it a little bit like a farmer welding you know it's not like a professional welder and uh, all that good stuff but uh, by the end of the day it'll hold together and it's most likely going to be a little bit slower than a, than a pro can do it but uh, yeah here we have to, to work with what we have and uh, that's just how that is and uh, yeah, we have a crazy amount of uh, unpleasant flies boss here have sought he have uh, went to the big army tent because uh, they're not getting in there and they're eating him and they're eating me. He's coming now. Well, this is kind of how it goes because when she's doing the the seams let's call them the seams then I can concentrate on laying the blocks and that's pretty awesome and I said this is not my beloved kind of work the old timer some of you know the old timer he lives down there he came uh, yesterday and he was like oh uh, I, I don't like this kind of work. I like better to work with wood and stuff. And uh, I can only agree on that. But it's good that people have different interests. Because when everybody was like me and the old timer, then we would not have any brick walls, right? And that'll not be so great. But it's most likely painful to watch some of you pros, if I have some pro brick layers and uh, concrete workers. But as I said, We'll make it work. And uh, by the way, I'm Lars of Survival Russia, right? I'm, I'm, I'm on YouTube. It's me who's the cool guy, so I don't want any, uh, I don't want any uh, criticism or anything like that. I cannot handle that whatsoever. And by the way, about criticism, I had a funky comment about this house here because we are building a 12-sided house, right? And there was a viewer who actually unsubscribed to my channel because of this house here. Because he said that, uh, he said, sorry, what the hell I'm doing. That's like a temple to my ego and all sorts of funky stuff. So I'm putting this up here so this is how I also can use it for closing off the seams. But yeah, he, he thought it was like a temple to my ego or something like this. But uh, I'm not really, I, I think Mr. Sawai Russia would agree on that. I mean, I'm not really make a selfish guy or <laughs> egoistic. I didn't hear about that. No, no, she didn't hear about it. I just came to think of it today. But he, he freaked completely out. But the thing is that when you have to build a house, also in a faraway Russia, you need a... You need some sketches and uh, you need to show the local administration what you're doing and so on if you want to make it legal anyway. 
So, uh, Mr. Sophia Rochas, that being an architect, made this here for us. Uh, I never asked him for it, and I kind of regret by now that I uh, that I agreed on this project. But uh, you know, projects are expensive, and uh, when it's gonna be finished, it's gonna be awesome. But this is a lot of Survivor Russia, blah blah blahing. So uh, I think we're just gonna yeah get it done. I'll see if I can show you some of the monster flies we have. Also, we have a lot of monster flies actually, but there's a few species which haven't come out to play yet. They will come sooner than later. Uh, it's a little bit low. It's fine. The blue mahogany mitten. But there's something I can show you here. Because as I said, the wind is awesome. We don't have that many of the of the black flies. These very small ones who crawl behind your sunglasses and around this edge of the cap and hair if you have any and stuff like that. But uh, I managed to eradicate a few of these guys here. And these guys here, they are not nice. They are called ah, they are called ovat in Russian, and they bite super hard. The good thing about these guys is that they are super slow. We have one live one circling. What? Is it visible? No, it's not visible. I know it goes on the cam, but you can see my arm here. It's not because it's a huge muscle. It is a huge muscle, let's just say it like that. But anyway, when they get a hold of you, <laughs> they're really they're difficult to get off. And it's like they take a little bit of a chunk of meat out of you. They're quite painful, but as I say, happily they're very slow. I can see these are made so you can have a rebar here and use them upside down. And fill these guys up with concrete, but we don't need that. And you don't absolutely have to do that. We have a double layer here of, of rebar in our foundation and uh, it's laying on a it's a quite big pillow of sand, so it's very stable, shouldn't go anywhere. All right guys, so here we are. The day after we have uh, managed to, to get a little bit further, of course. Not too much, sadly. But, uh, but that's for a reason. I mean, we are only, me and Mrs. Savara Russia at the moment. The Pink Ninja is in Moscow, she'll be coming back in a few days. Our grandmother will also be coming back, so they can help with our two nuclear reactors. They are in here, <coughs> together with the boss. He's down there, and they're making some, yeah, the best of trouble that they possibly can all the time. <coughs> you can see they are building uh, traps. At the entrance here, for me and Mrs. Survivor Russia. And he made a bed up there. <laughs> well, that is of course the main reason we cannot work full blast, because they need some supervision now and then. But uh, they'll, as I say, the Pink Ninja and her grandmother will be back in a few days. So uh, we, can, uh, we can continue on full blast. Here we have our level. Everything seems to be awesome. It's also acceptable. I'm pretty happy with that because, uh, as I said, this is what I like the least and what I have the least experience with doing. So uh, I'm pretty, pretty pretty pleased with the result. All right there guys, so it's enough for today. Tomorrow, Monday, is uh, hopefully gonna be the big push. And uh, yeah, I promise to do a little bit of fishing with the Blue Ninja, with my oldest son down in the pond here and so on. We have some small fish and yeah, he wants to try and fish. So that's what we're gonna do today. So guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train, get it done. Do something awesome. 
And I think that uh, the next construction related video here is going to be when we are done with this ring here. Uh, because then we can move on to the woodwork and uh, we can actually see some progress, right? <laughs> see you in the next one, guys.